Welcome to a discussion this afternoon on World Clean Room Projects. There are monthly updates to the service. More importantly, the service has been involved, uh, has been existence since uh, the 1980s. So all the projects since the 1980s have been recorded and uh, are still available uh, in the search engine. So it not only gives you the current activity, but a very good uh, perspective of existing clean rooms and clean rooms that have been taken out of service over the decades. And there are monthly uh, updates. So when you click on, for instance, the pharmaceutical industry, you can go to our July update and see the United States and the, and the rest of the world. And we try to capture what's going on, on a particular, in a particular project at a point in time, as you can see here. And um, the, um, trying to you know, pick up the number of square feet the number and the amount of clean room space that is going to be uh, added and in the in the case of certain contractors uh, to find out uh, how what projects they're moving on and so for instance AES has picked up a building permit uh, for a $850,000 uh, re uh, renovation at uh, Kentucky uh, Bioprocessing. So this is a pretty extensive coverage and it's done by industry on a monthly basis. So let's move out of the monthly updates and you can go in by revision date, which shows any project that we've recently, um, has recently been revised. But the other way to go into it is either by location and industry location, start update, or expansion date. But one of the more worthwhile ways to pursue the uh, analysis is to go in by the companies themselves. And so Pfizer would be an example here. Let's just move down to Pfizer. And um, you would click on Pfizer 19, for instance. And this is a um, project that uh, the, the, the plant actually started up in 1989. There was an expansion in 2009, and it's a very large uh, facility. And the uh, way that it is set up, if any of the new project uh, information is added uh, in a link here, and it links back to the monthly uh, updates that we were just uh, just showing you. So this is the kind of information that uh, that is available. And for someone like Pfizer, who has a lot of things going on now, it is uh, useful to go back and see the actual facilities that they have as well. Now, that's our clean room projects. But we also have uh, a corona coronavirus uh, pharmaceutical solutions. And this is a very aggressive uh, uh, initiative that we've uh, undertaken here in the last six or seven months. So in, in the case of any of, uh, of these companies, we have profiles of the companies themselves. And we, uh, now you can click on uh, any, any one of these, uh, Moderna, whatever. And we would go into uh, where they where the status is on this coronavirus uh, uh, vaccines and therapies, and in many cases you've got a huge uh, expansion going on uh, or about to go on as they uh, move forward with with their vaccines. So this is a way to go back and forth between projects and between what is going on uh, in the very large vaccine and therapy market for the coronavirus. 
And in addition to that, several times a week. So this is in contrast to say clean room projects, which is only monthly. We're going uh, into uh, twice a week coming up with this project uh, information uh, on what's happening in the vaccines and therapies. So this is a very comprehensive uh, uh, program. And for those who have an interest in the pharmaceutical industry, uh, from a clean rooms perspective, this is a, a certainly a valuable combination to to have. And here we're showing, for instance, uh, uh, the, uh, the August 25th, uh, which is so you've got several times a, a week here. And here's a number of projects that uh, we reported on uh, at that point in time. So the um, uh, so this this is something that comes out twice a week, and then we are also adding continually to the evaluations of the uh, all the candidates for both uh, vaccines and and uh, therapies. So that can be added. The uh, the clean room projects is only uh, eight hundred fifty dollars a year. Uh, there's a modest increase if you were to combine coronavirus pharmaceutical solutions with it, uh, there's a much bigger uh, increase if you were to also uh, combine our world clean room uh, markets, which has a forecast for filters and uh, all the uh, gloves and clothing and so forth, uh, as, uh, as well as isolators and uh, other, uh, both PPE and hardware. And those can all be combined into one package. So all these uh, are available from the McIlvain company. And this is Bob McIlvain. I'd be happy to talk to you about uh, how you can put together some of these in, in a uh, package. And you can reach me at 847-226-2391. Thank you for your attention today.